Hi everybody, it's Peter Schiff. This is Monday, June 21st, 2010. Well, it's official. I am now on the ballot. I am a candidate for the United States Senate, the Republican primary here in Connecticut. Uh, the primary is going to be on August 10th. And let me once again thank everybody throughout the state of Connecticut that participated in this effort, that volunteered, that collected all those signatures. This is a first. I am the first person in Connecticut history to petition his way onto a statewide ballot. But we can't allow those efforts uh, to go to waste. We can't simply rest on our laurels. We have to understand that being on the ballot is simply the means to the ends. It's the first step in the process. Nobody is going to vote for me, even though my name is on the ballot, unless they know something about me. And that is the challenge. We need to let Republican voters know that I am in this race and let them know that I am a credible candidate, viable alternative uh, to Linda McMahon. The good news is this, the, the data shows that when people know about me, they tend to support me overwhelmingly. And we already know that many people don't like Linda McMahon and they would vote for me if they knew anything about me. And many of the people who support Linda McMahon only support her because they don't know that I'm in the race. After all, Linda McMahon has managed to convince people that she should be our next senator because she's not a career politician, because she's a business person. I agree. We want a business person, just not a show business person, not a wrestling promoter. I think if the voters of Connecticut have a choice between Linda McMahon and me, my background in finance and economics is going to be much more compelling and much more relevant to solving our problems. So the good news is I've got the better message. I just need to communicate it. She's got all the money and we need to neutralize that advantage. And so if you want me to win, the people who are watching this YouTube video, you've got to donate money to this campaign. You've got to do it today. Even if you've already donated, you've got to match whatever you've done. We've raised about $2.2, $2.3 million over the last 10 months. I need to raise that much over the next three to four weeks. So that means if you've already donated, you need to double up. That's the only way I'm going to win. And also, you need to convince your friends, coworkers, associates, anyone you know, that this is a cause worth fighting for, that I need your help here in Connecticut to get to the United States Senate. So the website is shiftforsenate.com. Go there today. Donate as much as you can possibly afford and then tell as many people as you know to do that. Because if I collect enough money, I'll win. If I don't, I won't. It's as simple as that. So if you want me to win, as I said, you're going to have to put your money where my mouth is. I've already put an, my own money there. I put $550,000 in, and I will put more if I think it makes a difference. But I'm not going to be the only one funding this campaign because I can't do it by myself, and I'm not going to do it by myself. Enough people out there have to want it. And another thing that you can do to help me is to spread the word. Try to get some of the conservative and libertarian or libertarian oriented think tanks out there, uh, political action committees to support me. Nobody has given me a dime. None of these organizations have sent me any money or have said any endorsed me. Why? I mean, I embody everything they claim they want. I'm the candidate that they should most want to help elect, yet they're not doing anything to help me. Maybe if they get enough emails or phone calls from my supporters, maybe they'll take an interest in this race, particularly given how many people nationwide don't like Linda McMahon, are embarrassed to have Linda McMahon as the Republican nominee. I am here. I can win this race. She can't. You know, this is between uh, the Republican establishment, now represented by Linda McMahon, and the grassroots, represented by me. The Tea Party, represented by me. If you live outside the state of Connecticut and you're a member of a Tea Party group, contact the leadership. Get them behind me. Get them to understand that there is a credible Tea Party candidate here in Connecticut that needs their help. Also, you know, I can use some help getting on Fox News. I don't know why Fox News uh, hasn't had me on. There's basically been a blackout of my candidacy on Fox News ever since I announced that I'm a candidate for the United States Senate. They haven't interviewed me. There isn't a single show on Fox News that's interviewed me. Now, I've been on Fox Business quite a few times, but not as a candidate, as, as, as an investor. I mean, I go on there. It's a much smaller audience talking about uh, this, the markets. But Republican voters watch Fox News, and they have a lot of political shows. Why am I not a guest on any of these shows? Not only am I not a guest, they don't even mention that I'm a candidate. I watch discussions of the Connecticut Senate race on Fox News. They never mention my name. Why am I not there? You know, Glenn Beck, you know, I'm a fan of Glenn Beck's. 
I used to be on Glenn Beck's show all the time when he was on CNN. There were some weeks I was on twice. You know, they used to call me up all the time. They said I was Glenn's favorite guest, right? Since I've been a candidate, not only have I not been on Glenn's television show, I haven't been on his radio show. I used to be a guest on his radio show. Why am I not a guest now? You know, not only hasn't Glenn had me as a guest, again, he hasn't even mentioned that I'm a candidate. And Glenn Beck talks a lot about the Tea Party. There are a lot of other Fox News shows. They're all over the Tea Party. They love the Tea Party movement. They're always talking about the fact that we need Tea Party candidates. Well, here I am. I've got the backing of all the Tea Party organizations here in Connecticut, yet they don't even mention my name. They don't mention I'm in the race. I don't know why they're not doing that. But you know what? Maybe if enough people call them up, email them, say, hey, have Peter Schiff on as a guest. Peter Schiff is on the ballot as a Republican. I've got the support of all the Tea Parties. You know, I am a credible candidate. I represent all the things that Fox News claims to want. And I want to do exactly what they say needs to be done. Why not at least acknowledge that I'm a candidate? So maybe if you can email them or call them. You know, another thing that people can do from around the country is listen to talk radio shows, national talk radio shows that play in Connecticut, that Republicans listen to, whether it is Glenn Best's program or the Rush Limbaugh uh, program. Call up these shows. Interject my name. Make the host talk about me. Ask them, has he heard about me? Does he know that I'm in this campaign? Does he know that I'm running? Talk about it. Get Republicans in the state of Connecticut to know who I am. You know, this is a tough challenge, but I am throwing it out there. You know, we can win this race. I know that I can win this race. I just need your support to do it. You need to help me get publicity and you need to help me raise the funds that I need uh, to buy the airtime that, that I that's required to get the Republicans to know that I'm out there. I'm going to get some free media uh, from, from petitioning my way on the ballot. And I think the fact that I had to petition my way on the ballot really, you know, sets me up as the underdog. And people like to root for the underdog. They just have to know that the underdog exists. I've got all the, the, the criteria that, that people want in a candidate. I know I can win this race. So again, you got to help me. You got to go to shiftforsenate.com and make a donation. Donate as much as you possibly can. And then when you've donated yourself, call everybody that you know and get them to donate. Anyway, again, thanks everybody. And I will be back again soon. Let's hope I can win. I know if I win the nomination, I will beat Dick Blumenthal in November. you got to help me beat Linda McMahon in August. Take care, everybody.